There may have been a watch keeping malfunction. Mm -hmm. Meryl Wen. <laughs> <laughs> There's some footprints. Oh my god. Coming out from where Corazon came to be saw so a bear. Okay. Yeah, and you didn't believe me, did you? And well. they came up towards the camp, circled the pit, mm. had a little look at the pit, and, and then came to the tent and then went off again. He is well known to us in the last few months in the forest. Mm -hmm. He comes. He sets the traps, he leaves. A while ago, he murdered some of my friends and turned them into some form of cabin. I've been on this freaking mountain for hours and I want to go home. So let's go to the cabin and kill whatever's in it. Whoa, hang on. Whoa, hang on. What? Uh, just not to be the voice of moral relativity yeah. or anything. <laughs> okay. But what we know about the person who's in the cabin is, is that they've been setting traps and cutting down trees. Yeah. Setting a trap that you fell into, a tree that I ran into, so our enemy. Yeah. Continue. Mm, yes, but I'm just saying, it, it, generally speaking, it's normal living in the wilderness. Behavior. Easy, I'm just saying, though. should we go with an open mind? I don't know. Like, prude, like we know that there's sort of dark magic, but Prudence uses dark magic, and she's cool most of the time. Do you remember all that bad stuff, though? No. I mean, maybe it's an Genuinely unrestrained not. Prudence. I, I don't doing remember doing this whole business all with right. the coins or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the, you, the curse you want that six, drives my very being. The lifting gold, of the curse. Six golden coins or something. I feel like you'd have eight mentioned golden it. coins. Right. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Cool. I okay. mention it all the time! Anyway, fine, let's go up to the cabin, scope it out, maybe kill everyone inside, maybe let them live, I don't care, let's just do it. Okay. I'm convinced. We should get up in the trees though and move in the trees. Um, you've not had much luck with climbing and wood today. So. Well, so I'm due a turn of good fortune. <laughs> Why, what's the benefit of going up in the trees? Uh, vantage point, for one. All right, well, Dob is going up in the trees and he can shout out anything he sees from the vantage point and the rest of us can just walk normally like normal people. How's that sound? Sounds good. All right, I go up in the trees and I walk from branch to branch up towards until I can see the cabin. <laughs> That's a dex acrobatics check, please. I walk normally. 19 like normal plus way. like a trillion. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dob in it, like a fit of peak goes, hmm, and places a foot on the, the trunk of a tree and just basically walks up. It's like, mm, yeah, we mm, can all mm, do mm, that, mm, Dob. Mm, mm. We can all um, do it. And he starts to just sort of like, move his way through the branches. He's sort of keeping pace with you as you, you right. all move along. Do I have to roll um, anything to walk normally like a normal person? Oh no, that's right, I don't, because it's not done. All right, enjoy your poor vantage point. I, I will. Th I think to myself. Well, <laughs> it's a thing called a telescope and I'm scanning ahead. You... Okay, make me a, a wisdom perception check, please, Coruscant. If you see something before I do. <laughs> uh, 16. Okay, you actually see different things, so there's no need to argue. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost calm emotions on myself. <laughs> yeah, you, you calm down, like the air is fresh up here, there's a nice pine scent, you know, like you're slightly it's coated in sap, but it's quite nice. It's got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that ahead, you're like, there, it looks like there's a clearing over there, and you see a very thin wisp of smoke sort of coming up from a fire, clearly. Uh, in in the, the trees ahead, you're going in the right direction. Corazon, you sort of scanning the trees, scanning the trees, scanning the trees, and then you see ahead, you see um, what looks like a snare Ooh. with a, a small, very small form kind of slumped there. Sweet, free food. Let's go and check it out. Guys, there's something in the snare up ahead. Let's go and have a look. See okay, let's okay. see if it's okay. Sure. I investigate what's in the snare. Oh, it's a rabbit. It is dead. Um, Prudence, uh, if you if you you know would detect magic on that one. Absolutely, yeah, it's free. I'm gonna detect magic. It's um, a pretty ordinary looking rabbit and an ordinary looking snare. But let me look for oh, a magical okay. aura yeah, on yeah, this yeah. Have bad a look. boy. Check it out, Prude. Scanning. Purple, black, laid by the same dude. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, it's purple and black, so well, it's an aura, is, an aura. No, 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 the trap, the snare. Trap. It's so a it's laid trap. by whoever laid the, the pit. Of, of spiky spikes. Is it like, this is warlock magic? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, is it the same? It's familiar. Is it the same colour as what went in me? Yes, 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 yes. It's the same. Whoever laid that trap, <laughs> laid <laughs> this trap. The trapper, the hunter, or, or what have you, has got some kind of warlock or warlock adjacent juju going on. But the rabbit's so. good to eat, right? Seems, uh, seems fresh. Yeah, I think the rabbit is natural. The rabbit is like a, a, an ordinary rabbit. It, I mean, it might. 
it might now contain the same thing that got in Dob. Yeah, Do so. but Dob's already got some in him, so you can probably eat it. Yeah. Do you want a rabbit, Dob? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any more. We've got quite hard tack and supplies, so we don't need yeah. to eat You're already supplies. infected. Yes. You might as well. All right, Chow fine. Down. Let's leave the rabbit. As you sort of stand and you decide to leave it, you notice the sort of, it's, it's basically a slip knot on a, on a line, you know, with like a really flexible piece of wood, so mm -hmm. blah, 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 simple snare. I know all the knots. Um, the knot undoes itself. Like, it doesn't undo itself, it loosens. It's like, it oh. just, almost as if invisible fingers are pulling it, kind of. Whoa, that's not what knots usually do, guys. Oh. I know all about knots. the natural bend of the wood sort of, bing, 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 it pulls the snare free of the rabbit. Oh. oh. The rabbit then, Gets to its feet. Yeah. Ah! Zombie well, rabbit. It. Zombie <laughs> rabbit. And slowly and mechanically, and it sort of just turns. I punt the rabbit. <laughs> 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 and it was about to start, uh, like <laughs> hopping. Dob, as you see, in the direction of the the fire, and then Corazon just boots it. <laughs> <laughs> so that just yeah. make me a strength check, please. <laughs> uh, it's a fifteen. Okay. Panic. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. For once, I'm not mad at you, Corazon, because that was weird. Okay, the it's rabbit. Good. The rabbit does not explode, but it does kind of like. Boom. There's like there's a definite like of leather on animal, and then a soft whoop, as it lands in the snow up ahead. Guys, what if what if these traps are, are sort of resurrecting the, the the trapeze? I don't know, Dob. Did you feel more or less alive after you fell into that pit? It's hard to say. Uh, <laughs> It could go. I, de I felt. Hmm. I don't know. Don't that know. wolf that you met earlier. Yes, how was, how Remus. Was, yeah. How was he? Uh, Rem uh, Remus seemed fine. He seemed okay. It was in a bad way because of the snare, surely. Yeah, but it hadn't killed him, so I think it. It's only huh. if the snares kind of, kill them, these are some kind and of life then traps. what we could do theory. is put my coat in the snare and see what happens. What? Love it. <laughs> no, yes. you don't want I feel to... really bad about the 80 wolves. Yeah, but so. what happens if 80 it wolves are there? becomes a Frankenstein of 80 wolf yeah. skins. Yeah, I mean, 80, 80 living, living wolves wolf all fused no, together. <laughs> hey, wait, Bismuth, give me back that chicken wing. <laughs> wait, no, that woodpecker wing. I it. When I say resurrect, oh, I feel more right, like it's right. uh, like working theory, some sort of like necromancer hunter. Okay, well, if we kill a small animal, then put it in the snare. Uh, and then. <laughs> so it's like the trapper doesn't even have to go collect the things because they come back to life and walk <gasps> slavishly back towards the cabin. That's oh. so, so lazy. Like, potentially. That yeah. is lazy. Well, we could test the theory. Yeah. I'm I mean, putting my coat in it. No, let's your put, coat is just skin. It. It's not an actual animal. Yeah, but it might come back to life. Really skin isn't alive. Things. Have you heard the tale of Ghostbusters 2? You know where that lady is? What a horrifying, <laughs> <laughs> horrifying existence for 80 wolves stitched together without their innards to be brought back to Better life. Better than being zombies. dead. No, it isn't. <laughs> I don't think it's it really worse. is. But I, I don't know. I feel warmly about this plan. Maybe it's the stuff that went in me speaking. I don't know. But I pivot on the spot and put a crossbow bolt through a woodpecker. <laughs> <laughs> but what if the trap has to be the thing that, that kills the creature? Oh, we'll find mm. out. Won't we? Let's start doing some science. <laughs> yeah. And putting things in the trap. Okay, Chorus. Yeah, you know what, Chorus. Yeah, you just do it. You just sort of from the hips. Okay. And boof, and you hear us. Don't yeah. shoot me. Yeah, it went past your face. Okay. Right. Dead wood woodpecker. Okay. S get ready for science. Put it in the trap. <laughs> Do a I, science. I put it in the trap. Okay. Nothing. Let's try the coat. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it has to be the trap that kills it. I think mm. Bruce is right. All right. I pivot okay. and wound a woodpecker. <laughs> 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 okay, right. you wound a woodpecker. All right. And then carefully, I carefully trap the near dead woodpecker. And then activate the trap, killing the woodpecker. <laughs> okay, the woodpecker's it's like, it's like, oh boy, what a day this is. <laughs> oh, really not you for this plan. You pause for a few seconds, and then the slipknot just Ooh. lowers, the woodpecker kind of like flops out, and then sort of like getting to its feet, its head still sort of lolling around. It like, I kick it into the woods. No, don't kick it, no! <laughs> <laughs> I thought that's what we were doing! No, <laughs> it, like, it, it sort of pounces, ready to spring into the air and fly off. You notice from the trees, still in the same direction. Yeah, 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 yeah. Egbert, strength athletics. Alright. 
one failure. <laughs> Crit one. 19 oh, plus oh. four. 20. Wow. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. Okay, the woodpecker cool. doesn't explode either, uh, but it kind of like, yeah, it's like, <laughs> you, you sort of hook it a bit, but it like, <laughs> and you hear it. another like, <laughs> In the snow. <laughs> I love that that's become our bar for success. It doesn't explode. <laughs> well, we okay. I what think we, we can learn? probably assume okay. that they're necromantically coming back to life and going up to the cabin. Okay. Yeah. We have to assume. Sure. Or I level my crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, that's enough science for down. one day, Dom, can you see in any direction where there might be a cabin? Yeah, I mean, I can see a, a plume of smoke. It's coming out. I think the cabin's over there. In fact, I'm going to uh, hop across to it and try and land daintily on the roof and so that I can listen down the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's a wa it's a ways away, so we'll sort of like we'll we'll turn this into a sort of almost like a montage moment where everyone's sort of just like walking through the wood. Um, as you pass where the ra rabbit landed, actually, you see the rabbit got up again, and oh. some tracks continue to okay to go. So you're, you're basically you're following the tracks of a rabbit and also Dob as he like swings through the trees, basically. And yeah, then you reach a clearing, um, and it is just there is a very very simple log cabin. It looks pretty fresh. Actually, um, like it's only been up for a few months. There is some smoke coming from the chimney, and uh, you see Dob sort of like, like, have you ever heard the ballad of the crouching tiger and the hidden <laughs> dragon? <laughs> it's like it. Dob has found a particularly like uh, flexible, a, a young sort of tree that he sort of then runs up and it kind of like starts to lean over, yeah. and he tries to use that as like a spring for. His his landing on the roof of this Tries, cottage. You say. Mm. He yeah. does have to make a dexterity. I do a Dex nine hundred. Dex. Okay. Dex acrobatics check. <laughs> Sir Anthony of all. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that is uh, uh, um, uh, nine, 19. Okay. Uh, no. 20, yes, nineteen. Or 20. You do manage a seven twenty. Uh, oh, not what, the full 900 oh, was it, then. Seven oh, the 900, oh, sorry. 900. You manage your... His your... signature move. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Sir, Sir Anthony of Hawks 900. Um, you hear a hawk somewhere off in the woods <laughs> yeah. like scream triumphantly. Yeah. Not too loud, right? <laughs> not too loud, no. Um, and you land on the on the roof, uh, quite daintily, very softly, on the roof of the uh, the cabin. All right, uh, up to the chimney. Mm -hmm. I'll my whole head in it to listen. It's gonna be quite hot. Isn't it, it is quite hot. There is quite a lot Smoking of smoke coming out of it. You sort of you pull your head up and you're like just covered, <laughs> absolutely covered in ash. Okay. Uh, you heard a fire <laughs> and uh, not much else to be honest. Interesting. The clues <laughs> continue to align. The hunter is made of fire. <laughs> uh, okay. Like a normal person, I approach the cabin normally and just scout it out, look for traps, obviously, yep. because this guy's a trapper. Uh, let's call this an intelligence investigation check this time. Uh, 15. Okay, fine. Um, it all seems quiet. Um, like, you already know there's a fire sort of going inside, but from the level of light in the room, you see th sort of through the rudimentary window, um, it looks like it's been left to burn down. Oh. Like, as in, burned down to low embers. Right. Not. I don't see any shadows moving across the, the fire. No, the seemingly lights. not. Okay. Uh, and you notice, actually, that there there are like quite a few sets of prints in the snow. Um, some of them are quite old. There is one set that is definitely fresh that heads out. There is not a, an equally fresh set coming back <laughs> right. in. I don't think they're home. Okay. So we could probably let ourselves in and have a little, have a little sneak around. A little look around. Okay. Uh, well, is the door locked? I check. It's not locked. Just opened. <laughs> Is that you, Bismuth? <laughs> Bismuth nods off. Um, um, all right, I, uh, I have one of those SWAT team mirrors on a pole. Okay. <laughs> a selfie stick. Yeah. Checking my corners. Does uh, it look all safe? Seems safe. Actually, you turn one corner and you see a bear. The face of a bear is like... Argh! And then you pause for a second, you're like, oh. Either the bear's staying very still to maintain <laughs> the element of surprise, or it's dead. Me. All right, cool. A combat roll into the room. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, please make me a dex acrobatics check for that. <laughs> you can get it end up in the fire. Oh, it's a natural 20. <laughs> you don't oh, kick over any animals. Right. I um, walk sensibly through the door behind yeah. Corazon. Describe really cool. how, it, how cool the roll is. It oh. is, in fairness, very, very cool. He manages to, he sort of does this tuck roll that then turns into a slide 
um, where he slides through the legs of like a mountain lion that's <laughs> sort of like half rearing up, and then he he appears behind it, sort of with like a hand on its chest, and it's like no, on its shoulder, and it's like here yeah. I am. Hey guys, quit Any lying questions? around. <laughs> Cool. Well, you hear a, you hear half an orc, a, a half orc, not half an orc. You hear a half orc muttering on the on the roof. <laughs> um, yeah, this place is absolutely teeming with not wildlife. It's just every spare inch of wall, every corner. Uh, it's full of just taxidermied animals. Absolutely everywhere. Whoa. This is like a hunter's lodge Whoa. to end all hunters' lodges. Um, near the fire, there are sort of like there are all sorts of tools where clearly he's done you know some like work in, in mm-hmm. you know taxidermy and stuff and there is a basket uh, in which now lies uh, the inanimate body of a rabbit and one of a woodpecker wow. just in the basket anything valuable uh, yeah have a look around uh, intelligence investigation please uh, 22 yeah, you find like you find a decent. It's not loads, but you find like a, a a small purse of gold. It's worth like five gold pieces. You can have that. I look for signs of of the hunters' uh, mystical craft, like how they're zombifying their catches mm-hmm. around the cabin. Um, you sort of look around. Yeah, no, yeah. Sorry, make me a wisdom perception check. Okay. Played yourself. Oh, well, I no, do play myself because that is a two. No, it's just for intelligence uh, investigation. Uh, pl- yeah, two plus yeah. a two, four, and then yeah, 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 yeah. What did you roll? Just a four. Okay. <laughs> You're like, mm. You don't get much. You're like, hmm, stuff. It's a rabbit. <laughs> there are like lots of little bones and mm. all sorts of things. Mm. Have we decided that this Dobby, you coming in or are you going to stay on the roof? I shout up the chimney. <laughs> we're in, Dob. We're in that. We're in. The, the house cabin. is safe, Dob. There's no, no need here. to be on the roof anymore. Uh, I'm going to stay on the roof in case he comes back. Okay, well, the, yeah. In case he or she, the trapper, comes back. I'm going right. to stay up here and just be looking around. Stay watch. Trying to establish. Cool. Oversight, overwatch. I uh, <laughs> throw my spyglass oversight. up the chimney. I catch it easily. Ooh. 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 Risky. <laughs> Deck sleight of hand to catch this, please. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, if he rolls that a one, he just drops it. It's real Eleven. Okay. (laughs) You you hear an alarming series of like. Nothing happened. Everything's fine. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing happened to the telescope. Stop asking. All right, everyone. Have we decided Mm. that this trapper is the great evil that that dumbass wizard? Doesn't seem that. (laughs) One of us to get rid of. Doesn't seem that great. Really? I mean, it's quite. He's zombifying animals. That seems pretty. It's quite low ambition for a great evil, isn't I it? I like this hunter. Do you think we I should? I think we should be friends. Should we just hang out, mm-hmm. wait for them to come so back, and have back. a chat? Yeah. Um, down the chimney, I shout: disguise yourselves as taxidermy animals, and wait. <laughs> All right, but how? I mean, what are those two going to do? Oh, like an antelope. <laughs> I think uh, the animals up to you guys. Surely. <laughs> yeah, and a crocodile. Yep. Yeah. What are you going to be? I can be anything, I've got disguise self. Oh, you can only disguise yourself. But we have yeah. disguise kits as well, don't we? There's taxidermy here, just slice it open and Probably climb Probably not. Um, I lo- I'm, just, I'm just looking I around like at everything. Actually, and just, yeah. yeah. All so right. Climb in the taxidermy. Climb inside. I can't believe we have to explain this all. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So um, we're going to let the sand out of this taxidermy. <laughs> stuff ourselves into. Okay, so what do you each stuff yourselves into? I guess I'm a, the only thing I'm going to fit into is the bear, probably. So yeah, I'm okay, so you're in a bear. Meryl, when are you going to turn into a bear? Or? I'm going to be a cat, a cat, I think, so then I can at least hide. And then and if he sees me, I just go... It. Okay, okay, good. So, but I'm also just like, guys, this is really tacky. I mean, <laughs> like before, you know, when I was living with the elves, like mm. a part of my job was hunting. Mm. This, mm. like not even touching upon the necromancy element of it. Everyone okay. was yeah. not cool with it. No, I notice a sort of um, like a furry quadruped. It's got some horns. I cut it open and then I go, I thought they smelled bad. On the outside! <laughs> and then I climb in and seal myself inside. <laughs> <laughs> um, Prudence, like, he seems to have made a very big deal about the fact this thing has horns. You almost feel like he's tauntoning you. Oh. Oh. What animal are you hiding in? A large mountain goat. Unsubscribe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically... You, you, <laughs> Prudence hides in a mountain goat so another pair of horns kind of go... 
Out of the neck. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're sort of Beautiful looking balls. through the mouth yeah. of a mountain goat. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a pair uh, of eyes. You've turned into a cat. Dub, you yeah. are still on the roof. Yeah, not climbing into a taxidermy animal. It's I mean, crazy it, seems, it seems like a half orc standing on the roof of the only building. For I'm miles pressed low to it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you use your disguise kit to look like a chimney? Oh, uh, a white ghillie suit. And then inhale <laughs> you know? smoke and puff smoke out of your mouth like a chimney. Oh. That one. <laughs> uh, you disguise well, yourself as a chimney. I could just, um, just well, I whatever the could... direction the prints are going off in, uh, that I get around the side of the chimney that's away from that, and peek out like this. Yeah, that's all from the like. Very good. Love it. Uh, just make me a dex stealth check for that, please. Just to see how well you hide. Well, that's an 18 plus a load of other numbers. Brilliant, yeah. yeah it, <laughs> Seamless. Yeah, yeah. You, it, it's great. Dog melts into the chimney. Uh, mm. So a little bit of time passes. Um, I'd say probably give it about, yeah, it's about an hour. And then Dob, you see movement at the edge of the forest. Movement at the edge of the forest. And you see I'm a, a man in... You have to speak up. <laughs> you have to speak up, I'm wearing a taunt on. <laughs> <laughs> um, down the chimney, uh, uh, I... I um, we should have arranged a sing. It's too late now. Um, I I just I just make some noise down the chimney. I go hoot 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 hoot. Oh God, the owl's got off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you see a man sort of walking out of the woods. Uh, he's wearing a, a very large uh, coat and a sort of How many wolves? hat. Hmm? How many wolves is it made out of? No, it wolves. is a uh, eleven wolf coat. <laughs> Amateur. <laughs> Um, Mine's 79 wolves and one dog, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, gotcha. he continues to walk uh, toward the cabin, and yeah, he opens the door. Um, is, he, he, is, he, is, he, is he tall? Is he burly? What's his... He is uh, sort of like middling height, and, but he is very broad-shouldered, very broad-chested. Like, this is a, like a rugged outdoorsman. Um, as he sort of, you, like, you sort of notice uh, as... as he sort of disappears under the eaves and you hear the front door swing open and you will see it as the front door swings open. He's got like a, you know, very stubbly face, but in places his stubble is kind of interrupted by scars. Like he's got a big scar that kind of cuts from his forehead <laughs> across his eye and slightly pulls up the corner of, of his mouth in one place. Cool. His hands are more callous than they are yeah, hand insane. at this point. And he sort of, he stands there and stamps his feet and uh, then your eyes all scan up to just above his head and the three of you are like how is that there when it's also there because on his head he is wearing a hat that is quite clearly made out of some form of cat pelt and it's identical in every single way to Merylwen's current form. What? And he basically, he walks in, looks around, like, he looks at his mountain goats, he looks at his bear and the quadruped <laughs> horns, and then he looks directly at the cat in the corner and goes, well, here we are then. Does, any, does anyone, <laughs> does anyone <laughs> speak? Does anyone move? Uh, Marilyn's not I, doing anything, you guys. Um, I spring dramatically from mm. the tauntaun. He looks unsurprised. He goes, uh, So you're the lot that have been on my trail, messing with my traps, messing with my livelihood, is it? Oh my god, he's so cool. <laughs> 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 yeah. What's, yeah, yeah, what's the no, deal? That's, I, I that's climb that's sheepishly like climb out, out of the, the bear. Uh, yeah. He's just gonna, yeah. he's, he carries on staring. Just st he's delivering all of this to Merylwen as cat. Okay. <sighs> what's with your hat? Why is it the same as Merylwen? Did you kill Merylwen's cat Did you kill Simon? all those years ago? Are you a Simon killer? You know, I never saw this one before it walked in my front door. But that's the thing about my traps is I don't have to be there. I don't have to kill them. I don't have to make sure they're dead. Simon died in evil, necrotic magic. Eventually, no. they pass, whether it's old age, whether it's in one of my traps, and then, sure enough, up they get. Oh, that's gonna happen. And over they come. You he, he does look at you, he's like, I see you've been marked. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! 
<laughs> Try not to applaud right. Prudence. <laughs> <laughs> Job don't right. die. Well, by this point, I've sheepishly slid down off the roof, I guess, and... and Slithered was... through the Oh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, no, it's fine. Sorry. Knock on the door. God, I forbid I... you to die. <laughs> I, I promise back. I will never die. Good. In tomorrow, when? Was he your cat then, was he? But I saved him. Oh, yeah. He died eventually, though, didn't he? Did you give him a burial? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder why he was dirty when he came in. Because he got up, he dug his way out, Man, that's messed up. and then he came to me. And you know what? I made him into an app. You take my friend off your head right now. <laughs> Meryl went, elf him up. <laughs> I don't think I will. All right. I'll make you. <laughs> Whoa, super uncool of this guy to make a hat out of Simon. Come on back to Outside Xbox tomorrow to find out whether or not he gets his comeuppance. And subscribe so you never miss an episode of The Oxventure.